School district superintendents are pleading with lawmakers to override a spending limit before a March 1st deadline. Otherwise, they'll have to make drastic cuts. Nine on your side's Ryan Fish joins us live here in studio with what that may mean for Southern Arizona school districts. And that's right, Pat. And despite those districts having their budgets approved by the state last year, the budgets now exceed a statewide spending cap that's set to trigger on March 1st. Now there's still time and hope for the state legislature to override that spending limit, but the stakes are high. The clock is ticking before a March 1st deadline for the Arizona State Legislature to raise or waive a spending limit for public schools. Every day that goes by, I start to lose a little bit of hope. Tucson Unified School District Superintendent Gabriel Trujillo says right now the district's focus is not on the worst case scenario. Instead, it's on pushing lawmakers to take action. We're leveraging the relationships that need to be leveraged in order to make sure that the legislature goes a different path. But if it doesn't, TUSD will face $58 million in budget cuts for this school year. Trujillo says that would mean already stretched transportation would have even fewer bus routes, plus significant cuts to arts, music, and sports programs. He also says staff members would have to be let go and class sizes would swell to 45 or 50 students. I'm an optimist. I, I, I've got to believe that the forces of reason, that the forces of standing behind children uh, will inevitably win out and that uh, hopefully a deal will be done. Trujillo believes politics are getting in the way, that lawmakers are upset with school districts' decisions about mask and vaccine enforcement during the pandemic, and as a way to fight Prop 208, an income tax hike to fund public education passed by voters in 2020 and now under legal review. As a way to show public schools and to show local school boards where their place is, uh, and it's sad and it's tragic because they're waging this political war and this act of political vengeance on the backs of Arizona's children, and that is just wrong. The state legislature has raised the 42-year-old spending cap before, and Governor Ducey has said he has, quote, every confidence that will get done again. Ryan Fish, KGAN 9, on your side. All right, Ryan, thank you.